Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. So my daughter saved these two caps from her hair products and she said, hey dad, do you want these? Do you think you can do anything with them? I've been hanging on to them for a little bit and then just the other day I kind of got this little uh, idea and inspiration. I want to try and make this little Japanese ramen noodle serving robot. I don't know, let's see what we can do. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, so this is just a quick inspiration sketch. It'll probably change a little bit, but I've got the caps here, so I'm gonna use that as my base. I have this cool little lens that I pulled out of a little toy that had a camera in it. I'm gonna use that as the eyeball, so I'm gonna drill a hole through there. I've got some little parts from some Gundam models and some tank models that I've just kind of been collecting and looking at. I have some polystyrene square tubing that I'll probably use for the arms and the legs. I found this Gundam model kit at a yard sale for $1. So there's a lot of great parts in there. The kids started to build it and never finished it. So um, I'm probably not gonna be able to figure out how to finish that. So I'll just use that as parts. And then I got this Gundam model kit for 25 cents. Kind of same story. So I've got a whole collection of things here. I'm really just gonna kind of look and build as it goes. So let's do a little time lapse and see what we come up with. All right, so I'm just kind of drilling out a hole for my eyeball of the robot, which is just a camera lens from a Buzz Lightyear toy. Got that all fit up looking pretty good. Then I thought it'd be fun to do a couple of little antennas similar to BB-8. So these are just polystyrene rods that I'm kind of placing in there. Now I'm kind of taping the body together so I can see the th the robot as a whole. This is a little gas can or something like that from a tank model. It's kind of flat and I need it to fit. So what I did was I just took sandpaper and put it around the body and sanded it up and down and gave a nice shape and I was able to glue that on pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and glue in the antennas. Now I'm going to do the same trick of the sandpaper with these little mounts that the legs are going to go on. So kind of finding the center point of the robot that allows me to mark the center point, cross it over, and then I can get the legs, the legs aligned properly on both sides. So that way it'll stand nice and straight. I am roughing up the plastic. That way when I glue it, the part will actually stick. A lot of times if you don't sand it, the plastic parts will just pop right off. So make sure to do that. Getting the second leg glued on there, or not the leg, but the post for the leg. So it's looking pretty cool. Get that glued up. I was just using the tip of the X-Acto knife to kind of spread it around, get it evenly um, applied there. So now I'm gonna add a couple of little, just greebles, kind of make it look cool. This is a little Gundam part. I thought it looked like some kind of, you know, bracket or mount. There's a little door here. Maybe that's where you open it up to work on the robot. These are for the arms or the legs, um, just Gundam parts. And again, I, I don't even know what these parts are, but I'm just kind of, they looked cool and they fit the shape that I needed. So took some of the square tubing, made some parts to the legs to bulk it out a little bit, drilling a hole through here. And you can see on the table, I have these blue stems from the model. So I just sanded that down and drilled a hole through and slipped it through. This will give me a really nice base to glue the legs on so the legs won't just pop right off. The legs had a little hole at the top, so I did a little piece of polystyrene, cut that out, sanded it off, and that just kind of closed up that hole. I'm um, just kind of drilling a hole, getting it fit there. I'm looking at the, um, kind of the placement of where I want the leg because I want my robot to be as if he's walking and kind of in stride. So I got the legs as if he's walking so he can deliver. So I'm just kind of eyeballing that, glue it on. It looks pretty cool. I think the, the pose is pretty nice. All right, just checking it out. All right, now I'm making the little Japanese sandals. This is just basswood that I got at a hobby store, kind of sanding down the corners, rounding it out. Then I've got some square basswood and just making the bottom 
portion of the Japanese sandals. Just super glue that on. And that's going to be pretty cool. Sand it out. Kind of take a look at that. Um, again, these are just some Gundam parts just glued onto the square tubing just to bulk it out a little bit and that gives something for the sandal to be glued onto. Some more little Gundam parts. I thought they looked like cool little shin guards and then I have another little piece here for the back of the knee and it just gives some body to the leg so it's not just this little stick. This is pretty cool, an old pair of headphones. I like to cut these open and kind of pull out the little wires inside. Um, I'll use this to make it look as though the leg has some kind of electronics that moves it back and forth. And again, I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I put it in, glue it, cut it, and you know, glue it in place. And I gave it a little bit of form. You can see it kind of curves, and I think that's kind of cool. Glue in a second one, a white and red wire. Those are going to get painted over anyway, so I uh, did that again. Now in the back, you can see I used the headphone wires, but I'm using the full piece of wire and plug it in there and it looks kind of like a cool little piece of electronic equipment. All right, the hands. Again, I'm using some basswood square tubing. This is a Gundam hand from one model and it kind of just worked really nice. A couple little parts. That blue part doesn't even go to the hand, it's just a different piece, but glue in the upper arm on, kind of checking out the posture, glue that together looks pretty sweet. Um, there's a tank hydraulic hinge thing. Doing the same thing with the uh, the forearm that I did with the legs. Just put some wires in there. Drill some little holes. You notice I'm just using the exacto knife to drill my holes. What I'm doing here is I'm sanding the two parts of the lid because I've done this in the past where I've glued those two together and if it's not sanded it just like pops right apart. So that helps to rough that up. You can see on the body there, I've sanded the body to glue the arm on as well. Putting the other hand together, you can see the posture of this hand is it's out, so I think it's gonna work really nice to uh, hold the ramen bowl. Some more little basswood. You can see I have a little bit of an angle cut on both sides of those. So when I glue it together, it looks, his arm is up as if he's walking and holding gluing on a couple little shoulder pieces and again that's just kind of bulking it out helping it look kind of cool okay so I think we're at a really good spot here I've got some really nice modeling going on the arms the legs I was able to use some washers and some tank parts these are tank parts here all the blue and white and red parts are Gundam parts um, got some cool little hydraulics here. I think the, the posture and the gesture of the hand is going to hold a bowl of noodles really nicely. I've got the Japanese sandals there. Um, the back here, got some cool little wires going in, cool wires coming in here. So I think what I need to do is mask off this lens prime him up and once I prime him he's really going to kind of come together and then come up with a cool paint scheme for him. I'm going to make a little apron for him and maybe a little Japanese headband. I think it's going to look pretty cool. So as always it is a great day to be a toy nerd. Stay tuned for the finished product. It's going to be awesome. Have a great one.